Well, let's continue this. Ah, lovely. They are rather cute. What with the hearts on their chests. Blood splatters can probably be edited out before we... Construction of a government-sponsored luxury condo project, Costa del Cajones, has begun right on schedule. Part of the princess's much-heralded beautification initiative that will bring prosperity to the barren hinterland and hope to the hopeless. What do we need the mortars for? I thought this was a construction project. Well, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You can't wage a preemptive expansionist war without some incidental collateral damage. Why didn't you just say that? And from our homesick file, Timmy from Happy Trails says he's glad to be doing his civic duty, but sad to be away from Cutopia. Pucker up, Timmy. You're our homesick doughboy of the day. Mwah! Remember, guys, you're bringing these people freedom. They bring death wherever they go, but we can use their own weapons against them. I'll mark two nukes. You steal them and use them to destroy the mortars. Let me check out the other side of the gates. Yep. Game's not exactly uh, fond of misleading news sources. Or a public that's that callously disregards aggression on behalf of the government. Pick up the nukes. Hey. Ah, nukes. Use the nukes on the mortars. That should be like in chicken soup for the anarchists. Uh, use the nukes on the mortars. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can return fire. Don't do that more often. family could afford it. Glass distinctions. But they all explode into nourishing food the same. Probably very sweet food. Oh shit. Vulgarity. Cutting him off. Only they have some pretty funny one liners. You're missing a new the dead only know one thing it's better to be alive. I find that logic exceedingly difficult to argue with. Keyloads are an advanced race indeed. Okay. I'll hurry. Is there a map? like I was rather close anyway. Oh, if I blow those up, he'll probably die. We, we see so few of our own people around. He is decidedly unaffected by this monstrous appearance. All right, now Maybe Raid was just a village idiot more. and the only person unaware that this was a thing. It's like the stand. You have to rely on all sorts. Even the M.O.O.N. guy. I know 
I'll see it more than that. Maybe I'll go back that other way. This place is obviously where they were focusing most of their fortifications on, putting turrets here and everything. That's terrifying fungal growth, but I'm sure it serves a purpose in the ecosystem. Let's see if I can get a stealth kill. I doubt it. It's pretty long. It's probably worth noting that they've been at peace for so long that this war is totally off. I don't see the monster. Where'd it go? Don't apologize, I promise. Don't call yourself to that level. Yep. And there we have the uh Pretty uh, diverse range of ammo. We'll see more of that as the game goes on. Naturally. We'll also see a lot more variations on the Cubans. Theirs is a very interesting society. And naturally, we'll see their capital city. One of the interesting mechanics of this game is that as you get closer to the Cubot city, it becomes more civilized pretty, as opposed to normally when you push out from your happy home and end up in places like this, nightmarish regions. It kind of plays on the whole reversal of roles, whereas normally you'd be the cute, handsome anime boy. Good, you have the newt. Plant them on the mark spots on the, the mortars. Villainous beast. Raze is apparently so ugly that even deviant art can't find a way to make him sexualized. He's just that. He doesn't have that on his mind at all. He has nothing but puritanical murder impulses. Close enough to any keywords, apparently, that they're, so they're not going to be giving us any words of wisdom, which is always sad. game is, uh, well, I enjoy it. It's an interesting blend of uh, martial music and uh, music box. The kind of unnerving children's toy music. Somewhat fitting. That was messy. The nuke works best on the place of the I don't think it really matters that much for the nuke, but these are cute nukes. So I don't really know how those work. I 
guess they explode into searing rainbows or something. Oh, we're about to find out. So, like, does it require two? Nope. Must be another thing. No problem. We're on easy. This is a pleasure run. Yeah. They have sharp ears. Ah, good thing they didn't roll down there. Battle cry. Remind you of that kid you know from high school? Trying to be funny? What's that up there? Ah, oh, nothing someone else can't handle. I see some. Let's see if I can coax some dialogue out of here. They just wanted to make a prettier world. And they thought they saw big angry hellbeast. And their presumptions were correct. Well, moving right along. Have, must have very high blood pressure. Oh, what's that? Ah, new enemies. The gas grenadiers. Can't quite remember what they look like, but let's find out. Ah, there they are. Can't get a good look out of here. Yeah, he's not intact anymore. We'll have to find someone else. Raze isn't exactly a scientific type. There won't be any cue at autopsies in this. That sounds a bit like they were trying to, uh... hum a song that I can't quite remember the name of. His digestive system is remarkable. It knows exactly where to sort the ammo and where to sort the food. And then it immediately digests it and turns it into a I'm dinner to on the other side of the hill. Ah, teddy bear, or, or actually it's just a big bear, I think it's a technical term, big bear. They throw grenades, and they look like that, that's just what they do. It's pretty unnerving to see a big top pet, uh, uh, rotund bear wall while I've been before, lobbing grenades. I don't think they speak. That makes them even more terrifying. Keywords at least express pain, anguish, 
various emotions. Those things are just cold and uncaring. But they die like everything else. In that a certain amount of hits will result in catastrophic bodily meltdown. Like that. Watch out, now my mouse overheating. We can count him out now. Ah. The AI, the AI in this game is actually rather common. Considering we're fighting people who have never before actually had to... Well, fight. They're adapting rather well. And they'll adapt even better as time goes on. We'll see battle veterans with even more callous disregard for life than I have. I just kind of egyptized one of the few members of my race hanging around. That never gets old. It's raining blood. I don't think your imagination really can account for that. Trying his hand at Hotshot. Unfortunately, he's too far away for us to hear him. Pretty standard fare, I imagine. They can't die. They have too much to live for. Too much candy to eat. Too many kind words to say for their leader. Beekman. Maybe. Well, I guess it's time to consult the old map, yeah. I took a detour. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll let that be. Ah! Thank God they put this wall here. Look. Apparently God in this universe is either non-existent or otherwise indifferent to our struggles. It could be argued the same. It can be said up here, so... More commentary. Our society. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's get a good look at these guys. As you can see, oh, he's gonna blow us all up. Yep. Let's see, I like that cute little fellow. It's unclear whether these things have spines. I imagine those keywords do. That guy, he was doing the worm rather convincingly. I ain't racist. And Bird Rivers are just fine. What? Are you Nihilus? Nihilus? Who's Nihilus? No, he didn't send us. Fight your way out of here. I've marked an exit point. The Rancor is friendly, apparently. Yeah, exit point. 
one should be nearby. Why don't? Well, he's having a good time. Whoa, you... I guess I should help him. Well, he's having a good time too. He's got some pretty good distance on that lead for his girth. Finish off the culex here and then we'll leave for the gate. That grenade finished him off. But collateral damage. Time to adjust to his new powers. So this informant, Nihilus, he was helping out your leader, Craig? That's right. And he looks like me. Apparently you know the Rancors that? are uh ventriloquists, talented ones at that. Will there be no end to their surprises? Well, I guess we're gonna find out soon. So that's about it, Troop. It's no brainer. We fly in, take him out, we'll be back before you can say what for supper. By the way, anybody know what's on the barbie tonight? I have a hankering for some ribs. Yeehaw! But sir, I've heard he's ten feet tall, sir. And and that he can spit fire and can launch rockets from his fingertips. All right, that's enough. Where do these crazy rulers start? He's nothing. He's a big dumb mutation. Probably drank some of that water we contaminated. But what if it's true and he starts to... Hey, we got doctors, bomber bears, airborne forces, all in a remote station area he will never be able to get to. He's dead, understand? Dead. He just don't know it yet. Another biting look at our society. Though that was much more of a character, I'd imagine. Though that one cue, it does remind me of some guy I know. I mean the one who doesn't talk, not the guy who sounds like a southern. Well. Oh! And might as well introduce, introduce these guys early because they're very infuriating. Yep. The infamous helicopter. Enter the Vietnam allegories. Hiding in the jungle, shooting at helicopters. Well, they're gonna be shooting at us. And we're gonna be trying to return fire with varying degrees of efficiency. They're really good at hiding. AI is not stupid. Somewhat important to take those things out. places to hide here. He's just lucky I'm a terrible shot. But he is smoking now. Uh, fuel they use, but apparently it's flammable. Uh, I think it's still up. Yep. Maybe it's not flammable. I mean, if the helicopter's on fire, it's really not going to be staying in the air. Well, 
We're not here to take our time. We're here to experience a game that was received well, generally. It just didn't really, it just had the disadvantage of not having Halo in its name, so not a whole lot of people played it. Whoa! What am I doing? I'm wasting so much ammo. Also refer to a uh, very brief or witty quote. And is it to answer his question? Destroy that base. If you survive, join us. We can all help each other. So you can see our guide is trying to manipulate Ray's into making him even more angry. I kind of doubt that this character has shown any indication, outward indications that he has any intention of making nice with the Kulets. But I guess that ship has sailed because that's impossible now. Because the guide said so. And the keywords made no indication that they would be willing to live alongside things that aren't quite as cute as they are. I believe that thing is invulnerable. that Keelit was trying to say he was going to set his weapon down and ask you to come out. Very old trick indeed. But Ray's is far too smart, or far too stupid to fall for that. He either sees right through that ploy to uh, come out in the open, or he just doesn't understand language at all. No, it's kind of unlikely that Different societies as different societies as different as races and these fellows would be able to understand each other. It seems they've been isolated for quite some time. Only dimly aware of each other because it's the Romans and the Chinese. Maybe some outward trade. But little in the way of actual contact. I'm sure they have respective stories about each other. Maybe even have each other on the maps. If they maintain it, he will talk to you. I'm not sure what his problem was. I guess his visor was messed up because he couldn't see me. Or that was just like something. Maybe the uh, Keyboard High Command just like repairs one liners. And he chose show yourself without quite understanding that show yourself is aggressive is an aggressive command to demonstrate dominance on the battlefield, as if you can command your enemies. Yep. 
all our weapons are accounted for. That screen will allow you to uh, select others, should we find them. We probably will for too long. Something there. The edge of my vision. Yeah, these guys must have terrible eyesight because I was on the edge of his vision and I was right in front of him. I'm not sure what kind of evolution that would account for that. Unless this god that is aloof is also a designer. I won't go as far as to call him an intelligent designer. Because those guys have eyesight that I really don't understand. Always looking sideways. Like a thief. Okay. Let's see if I can actually hit this guy. Nope, I can't. Not the cards. Not for me. Wolverine! Oh. Yeah, I'm really glad there's no fan fiction on the internet about this guy pissing in his mountain school down there. I mean, if you want to go full on military allegory, all the macho shit. It seems like a logical thing for it to go at some point. It's not quite logical, but inevitable. Let's hope Rule 34 maintains ignorance on this. Wanna talk? Talk. All you had to say was something funny. Hey, no fair. I did exactly what training camp. That sells a lot. Even Ray's cocked his head in confusion there. Messy, but effective. Well, this whole game's pretty messy. It's kind of the point. I'm not going to start talking about Thermopylae or anything. I might start talking about the uh, other battles of Thermopylae. The stand against the uh, Celtic barbarians by the Italian League. You ugly, stupid, smelly. He didn't even get to finish his sentence. Yeah. There were like 13 battles of Thermopylae. 13 major ones. I'm gonna stop before I actually start talking about them. Though. I do love hide and seek. Another biting insight into their culture. Hide and seek is seen as favorable. All right, let's use these. We have them. Do come off. It's about the only place to hit them because their weapon also doubles as a rather effective body armor. Well, 
mean that's so effective. Just makes, just gives him a mortal wound as opposed to a suddenly explode wound. to convince us that he's all by his lonesome. That's actually somewhat effective. Alright, one of these days I'm gonna actually hit that thing. Stand still. Yeah, I don't think you. I'm not even sure the Teletubbies are on air anymore. Apparently, the other uh, members of Razor's race were willing to negotiate or fall for the negotiation tactic. I have very little doubt that they immediately use the Bruce Willis one-liner for the fifth element afterwards. Taking too terribly long. I'll try to speed this up. The environments are. Oh! <laughs> That's why those things are so terrifying. <laughs> they come out of the hills. There's a time delay, so you can even spare ammo and do that. But then that happens. Okay. Then you get ambush. Yeah, the AI is quite competent when it wants to be. enough, eventually certain keywords will talk about those suicide bears in derogatory terms. They appear to, they appear to occupy the lower case and cased in keywords aside.
Theirs is a tragic tale. When we first encountered these in our first run through, I had friends in tears. They hadn't been that scared since they played, uh. I can't remember the name of the game anymore. Eternal Darkness, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. The bathtub scene is apparently on par with a bunch of screaming teddy bears. Well, incessantly screaming. Their tone doesn't even change all that much. It's unearthly. You might have seen the little dolls like pop out. I'm not sure what. I guess he had to make everything cute. Cute with the side. Bold words. I mean, phrases people are pretty scrawny, but. There's something particular about Raze, it's not his strongness. This one's waxing philosophical over here. pretty quick. You made it, Ray's. Now why don't you teach them what it feels like to be hunted? Destroy everything! Kill them all! gonna take me with him. That's where he's going. Interesting last word. Yeah. That is the face of a happy camper. Well, I'd say that's good enough for uh, this setting. Uh, this is Genghis Don of Donaram signing off for the moment. Have a nice, uh, whatever, s 
well, whatever you're experiencing at the night, at the moment. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying it.